Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Richard D. Coughlin, 666. How are you? You know, there's been a lot of uh, people talking lately about the issue of atheism and religion, the, the, that whole back and forth, that battle on YouTube is dead. It's, uh, it, it, it's, you know, it's boring. It's nothing, it's not worth it anymore. Everything that's been said has been said. Shouldn't we just fucking move on and do something else or just give up entirely? The video I'm about to re do a response to is one of the reasons why I find that attitude to be very, very cowardly. Earlier on, I came across a channel called Illuminati TV. This is nothing to do with conspiracy theories, this video. This is just to do straightforward with someone who is, in every sense of the word, a walking pile of human misery. The video is called, for the record, Gay. We're not going to get very far into it, because I don't need to show you much of this guy's video. I don't know his name, he might have said it, it might be on his channel. I don't actually want to call him by his name, because that might actually in some way acknowledge the fact that I think he is somewhat worthy of being recognised as a human being. If I had my way, people like him would be used to have cosmetics tested on them. Let's get in with it. Recently, homosexual activists have been swinging for the bleachers. And with the weak-kneed metrosexual sleeping in the White House, they're knocking decency out of the park. Ladies and gentlemen, you don't know what the definition of knocking decency out of the park is. Sit tight. You're about to see it completely taken to a new level. The premise of gay rights is so absurd, so completely based on feelings and not facts. Now, I just want to say, what the fuck is gay mythology. I'm not aware of any mythological characters who were gay. I mean, there's, there's some that appeared that way. Unicorns, certainly, are a bit gay. I'll give you that. Gay mythology. Even if it was true that it was just based on feelings, at least they've got some that makes them human. So, let's get a few things straight. <laughs> did you see what you did there? <laughs> did you see? Did you see? Did you see what you did there? He did a joke. See, he said, let's get things straight. See, this guy is a wacky character. Hold on, you're about to find out what he's talking about. Let's start with Obama signing the Shepherd Bird Hate Crimes Bill. Yes, yes. He is about to talk about the Shepherd Bird Hate Crimes Bill. Specifically, he's about to say something about Matthew Shepard's murder. First of all, like Harvey Milk, Matthew Shepard was not killed for being gay. Did you hear that? Matthew Shepard was not killed for being gay. And wait till you hear this guy's evidence for this. After being robbed and beaten to death, his killers went on to try the exact same thing on a straight guy, only 20 minutes later. You disingenuous, heartless, insensitive, fucking bag of misery. You waste of atoms. You have absolutely no value in my People like you are as, are as valuable to the advancement of the human race as the malaria-infected mosquito. Now, first of all, he's put robbery turned murder. That's not true. But let me just explain. See, now that was his... Ev Shortly after Matthew Shepard was beaten to death and robbed, they attacked a guy who happened to be straight. This is kind of like arguing that because Hitler killed some people that weren't Jews, that proved he wasn't an anti-Semite. Now, for those of you who are not familiar, let me walk you through the reasons why that is a complete pile of shit. On October the 7th, 1998, Matthew Shepard was picked up by two men called Aaron McKinney and Russell Henderson. They offered to give Matthew a ride in the car. After admitting he was gay, under what circumstances we do not know, Shepard was then robbed, pistol whipped, that's beaten with the hand of a gun, tortured, tied to a fence in a remote area where he was left to die. During this process, McKinney and Henderson had discovered what Matthew's address was and they intended to burgle his house. Eighteen hours later, Matthew Shepard was found. At the time of being discovered, Matthew Shepard was actually still alive, but obviously in a comatose state. He suffered fractures to the back of his head, he suffered severe brain damage, which affected his heart rate, his body temperature, and all his other vital functions that we consider you know, ne necessary to carry on living. There are over a dozen lacerations to his face and head and neck, 
and his injuries were too severe for the doctors to operate. Imagine that. Imagine being beaten and bloodied to a pulp so badly that the doctors consider it too severe for them to try and save you. Now, I've got no problem where necessary to show and use graphic and shocking images in any of my videos if it means demonstrating a point, but I don't really have to because there's one image that I can paint purely with the words of the uh, people who discovered Matthew Shepard's body. He was beaten so badly that his entire face and head, pretty much, was covered, covered in blood, apart from two places, and that was the areas of skin where the tears had washed the blood away. What's more, during the trial, the girlfriends of McKinney and Henderson both testified that their boyfriends had plotted beforehand to rob a gay man. On April 5th, Henderson pleaded guilty and agreed to testify against McKinney in order to avoid the death penalty. He received two consecutive life sentences. The jury in McKinney's trial found him guilty of felony murder. Eventually, facts were deal by Matthew Shepard's parents, McKinney serves two consecutive life sentences. I can't begin to fathom how any human being who looks at the Matthew Shepard case, who looks at what was done to him, beaten to an absolute pulp for no reason, and then hung up, left to die like a pig who's just had his throat slit in an abattoir and you bald fuck on Illuminati TV you sit there with your casual laid back with that arrogant pompous cocky and in this circumstance hideous demeanor simply because you want to push your own agenda you want to create this scenario where it shouldn't matter but you're the worst of the worst Mr. Illuminati TV you're the biggest scumbag of them all you'd rather protect Two murderers, and you'd rather attempt to devalue the reality of a young man whose life was no doubt troubled more than enough because you are convinced that he was part of some plot by some underground, underworld conspiracy to destroy the human race and to bring about the end of the hu human race and to let Satan run amok when I watch a video like that I have to sit there and try not to get too worked up I have to sit there and tell myself that it's The, 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 these people exist. I'm part of. I'm part of the same species as you. I'm related to you. And I wonder when I see people like you, have we really evolved from the time that we were apes? I know we still are apes, but you know what I mean. And you might say to yourself, "Well, Richard, you come across these people all the time. You've come across human beings like this lots of times since you've been on YouTube." Yes, you're right. Yes, you're right, I have. So why am I used to it? I don't want to get used to it. I do not want to wake up one day, watch a video like that, and feel nothing. I don't want to live in this world where that is happening. And if you people out there who think that this argument is dead, that this subject is dead, if you think that this entire process 
we've gone through in all these years is no longer worth going through, then fuck off. We don't need you. Nobody needs you if you're not interested. Go make videos about fuck it, about you know about some film that's come out recently. Go make videos about something you read in CNN. Go make videos about something that's some sporting event. Make videos about a funny sign you saw on the subway. But don't sit there and try and claim that we should just sit back and go, yeah, you know, no worth it. Because I won't do that. And it's not because I'm this wonderful angel and because you're a horrible human being. I understand that feeling of, is this all worth it? Well, you know what? I might accomplish nothing. I might achieve nothing. I might end up showing nothing. But those are all maybes. Those are all definites if I do nothing. And as long as people like this motherfucker are still walking the face of the earth, I will not allow my species to be embarrassed any further than it has to be. And to the guy who Illuminati TV, I hope you end up experiencing every torture and pain that Matthew Shepard felt 10,000 times over. Because maybe, maybe then, you'll start to realise how human you should be. Richard the Coffin 666. Good night. And don't fuck yourself. <laughs>